Hi guys, welcome back to As We Speak. So on the occasion of World Animal Day, today I'd like to bring to your attention the 19th of March 2018 when the last male northern white rhino Sudan died effectively ending his species with him. Now, this happened during our lifetime and if we don't do something to stop the extinction of species like the rhino, I wonder if our great-grandchildren will ever get to see animals like the rhino in the wild or will they become mere objects of fascination just like the extinct dinosaur. So, why are rhinos becoming extinct? Because of human greed and poaching. Poaching is the act of illegally murdering animals for parts believed to have value, like tusks in the case of an elephant. When it comes to the rhino, this gentle beast is being hunted for its horn that is believed to have medicinal value in traditional Asian medicine. The rhino horn is also considered to be an aphrodisiac, and rhino horns are especially coveted as status symbols in countries like Vietnam and China. The demand for this product is so great that one kilo of rhino horn fetched some 100,000 USD on the black market, making it more expensive even than gold or platinum. There is absolutely no scientific basis to validate the medicinal purpose of this horn. Yet, over the years, rhino poaching has become such a big problem that the species has officially been classified as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Let's talk numbers, shall we? There are five remaining rhino species in the world. The northern rhino, of which you have the, white ri the northern white rhino and the southern white rhino. The black rhino, the greater one-horned or Indian rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino. This summer, my family and I had the good fortune of travelling to Kenya in East Africa on a safari holiday. There, we visited the Old Pajeta Rhino Sanctuary and even saw and paid our respects at the Rhino Memorial. There's the female black rhino, Chima, who was snared and found dead with both her horns missing. Or Lotta, whose carcass was found a week after being shot by a poison dart, again without his horns. The list goes on and on. It is really important that we wake up and smell the coffee. There is never going to be a virtual reality fix for real and raw nature. And it would be a complete shame if we don't do something to preserve this wildlife for our future generations. So, what can we do? Learn more about the rhino on websites like helpingrhinos.org or the International Rhino Foundation and spread the awareness. Have a productive family vacation by visiting or volunteering at a rhino sanctuary or a rhino orphanage, like Old Pajeta, for example. Support harsh consequences on black market sales of rhino horns. Educate people in your community. And finally, Sudan died at the age of 45, which is equivalent to about 100 in human years. His lifespan was only extended due to the caring and nurturing efforts of the conservationists and the rangers who looked after him until his last breath. Let's remember that all animals deserve to die a natural death, not one where their faces are pools of blood with their horns yanked out of them. So, will our future generations enjoy wildlife like the rhino? Well, I guess that's up to us. Thanks for watching and I have much more information as well as helpful links in the bio below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative and uh, see you next week. Bye! If you liked the video and if you'd like regular updates, don't forget to share, comment and subscribe in the section below. I really want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support. Bye!